Hi everyone, it's uh, Simon Keener here, it's Friday morning, just wanted to give you a quick update on the tropics um, and developments that are taking place there over the next few days because it's going to have an impact on our weather I think as we get through towards the end of August and into uh, September. This is the uh, tropical forecast from the National Hurricane Centre in the States uh, as of this morning. You can see they're identifying one, two, three, four storms, each with the potential for development, but it's these guys down here that we're really looking, you can see the train, that the path that they're taking heading towards the eastern seaboard of the states and I think over the next few days we'll see more of these systems leaving the western coast of Africa and uh, bringing the development potential for some hurricanes. I think probably in the next uh, 10 to 14 days some parts of the states, probably down towards the southeast through the uh, Keys and perhaps down into the Caribbean are likely to see a category 4, perhaps even touching a category 5 hurricane going through. So let me just uh, show you uh, what the charts look like for the end of the forecast period which is taking us through to uh, Saturday the 27th of August. This is the prediction for them. It's from the GFS model from weatheronline.co.uk. Obviously you do have to treat it with a pinch of salt because it's so far ahead. But the feature I wanted to pick out is this one here just off the eastern coast of the states. That's a hurricane in the process of turning into a former hurricane. But the track that these storms are taking is they're bringing them up to the eastern coast of the states and then out into the Atlantic, hooked up in a jet stream and sending them across to western parts of Europe. And interestingly enough as well is if you look down into the central parts of the Atlantic, look, even more systems leaving the coasts of Africa. Now, you can't say at this time that the system will be exactly there, but the overall pattern that the model is picking up on of this now activating tropical region is an important one because that probably spells quite an unsettled September for much of Western Europe, unless a ridge can build to the west of the continent. And it's that that I'm going to be looking for over the coming days and week. Thanks for watching. Keep the sun shining.